Big changes coming for some families in Pasco County. Starts in the fall, too. Yeah, school buses won't be available for students who live within a two-mile radius of their middle or high school. Some parents have some real concerns and plan to talk to the school board today about them. In Tampa Bay's Jenny Dean joins us live in Dade City with more on those concerns that we're talking about. Jenny, tell us why the district is making these changes. Well, the main reason, Frank, is they simply don't have enough bus drivers. They've had a shortage since the beginning of school year, and they still have 53 positions open. So this new decision is going to leave some kids having to walk or even bike to school. And here's where parents get concerned. Take a look behind me here. This is US 301 and parents are concerned that the kids are going to have to cross this road and traffic can zoom by here. It's a four lane road. The speed limit is 50 miles per hour and you know cars will go even faster than that in certain areas. And while the district acknowledges that cutting routes is not ideal, it's really the only solution they have at this moment because of the bus driver shortage. Kids are already often getting to school late. Also, the state does not fund busing for students who live within two miles of their high school or middle school. But parents, they're still voicing their concerns because of busy roads like 301 and many of these side roads that don't have sidewalks. I don't see how they could walk across the main highway of 301 without a sidewalk on Centennial Road or, you know, it's not safe. We work with the county all the time to put uh, sidewalks in for students. You know, one of the reasons that the district decided to go ahead and announce this change for the fall is so that they could start addressing some of parents' concerns and parents could be ready for the fall and making uh, arrangements for how their kids are going to get to school. But some parents, they aren't likely going to wait to voice their concerns. They're going to do it today at a school board meeting that starts at 930. While this decision has already been made, it is likely, though, the school board is going to hear about it from parents. Absolutely. All right. Thanks, Jenny. We'll stay on top of that. Plus, cutting courtesy busing is the second way that Pasco Schools has addressed that school bus driver shortage earlier this year. It adjusted the district's bell schedule to give drivers more time to get from one school to the other. They are not alone because Hillsborough County stopped offering buses to middle and high school students within two miles of their schools back in 2017. Let's go ahead and take a deeper dive into how the district addressed parents' concerns back then. The school board changed school start times the following year. They also put more resources toward the district's Safe Routes to School program. It allows county engineers, school leaders, and law enforcement to work together to make plans to improve safety for kids walking and biking to schools like crosswalks, turn lanes, and more school zone signs.